What's all? 18W fast charging now. Nice! <laughs> I've always had a dream of being able to generate my own electricity. And that would be a cool thing to do. Recently, I bought two solar panels from the market. Each with a power of 20W and generating 18V of electricity. They only cost $5, and there are charging modules available online for less than $1. With such low costs, we can easily build a quick charging system for our phones. Guys, let's get started. I bought two solar panels because of the possibility of cloudy or low light conditions, which may reduce the power generated. If we connect them in parallel, we can generate a larger current. I also purchased a waterproof interface and waterproof box. The following steps are simple. Connect the waterproof connector to the USB module. Insert it into the waterproof box. And connect the two solar panels in parallel using the waterproof connector. My module costs less than $1. But supports a voltage range of 6V32V and supports protocols such as QC 2.0-3.0, MTKP, DCP, and SCP. The size of the solar panel is quite large, close to 50 by 50 centimeters, but there are no obvious defects on the surface. After connecting it, we sealed it with rubber and waited for it to dry. As PM 2.5 levels may exceed standards, remember to open the window when soldering, There hasn't been good weather recently. So let's try it outdoors. Okay, we tested it on the rooftop, but there is currently no sunlight. So, let's measure the open circuit voltage of the solar panel. The open circuit voltage is about 23.4V. Is great, even on a cloudy day, and still generate power. When we connect them in parallel, we get about 10W, is already achieving the effect of generating power on a cloudy day. Let's connect it to charge power bank. We connected a USB power meter and plugged in a mobile power supply that supports QC fast charging and see what happened. It's already triggering fast charging. 9V, 1A. Good. But is this considered fast charging? The actual power is not as high as 18W, but it's still impressive to have a stable 10W output, especially on a cloudy day. Let's try charging it continuously until the afternoon. Two hours late. Now, let's take a look at the solar panel again. The open circuit power is close to 50W. But. Why is the charging power of the mobile power supply only 5 watts? <laughs> Let's try charging the phone. Wow! We can see that the charging power is 9V, 1.7A, which is almost 18W fast charging. Very nice! This phone can trigger QC18W fast charging. And the use of two solar panels connected in parallel can provide more stable and higher power. So, with this solar energy system, I have a strategic reserve. Coupled with a full band radio, I should be able to withstand the end of the world. Okay. The size is a bit large and not very portable. So, it can only be placed in a fixed position. However, it is still great too, right? My power generation plan is considered half successful. And you can also try to generate your own electricity is really cool. You can give me some suggestions also. Next time, we can make a higher power quick charging plan. Looking forward to it.